Ladies and gentlemen, I am Katie Stone and this is Stone Second Sense. Now today I have some pretty interesting news for you guys. A little backstory before we dive in. To about a week ago, we were talking about Liberty Safes, right? Liberty Safes was bought out from another company and then once you did research, that other company had been donating or giving money to certain individuals in the government mainly democratic ones, right? I want you to keep that thought right there. Just keep that thought because I have a video I wanna show you and then I'm gonna try and tie all this in for you. Do that. It's fortuitous today that we're having this press conference on, uh, on, on security of firearms, securing firearms, right after a major victory that our Gun Violence Prevention Task Force uh, achieved just this week. Uh, there was an, an inadvertent uh, commerce action that put a tariff on gun safes uh, that made them much more expensive for individuals to purchase, became a deterrent for people buying uh, gun safes. Our task force uh, lobbied the Commerce uh, Department to reverse that action. They did that, I believe, on Friday. So uh, today, there's good quality gun safes available for responsible firearm owners. Uh, they can go right now today and get one at a good price. So does anyone else find it very interesting that this group here, and this is the Gun Violence Prevention Task Force, would be even concerned or curious, which I mean, yeah, sure, everyone wants affordable gun safes. Tell me about it. But why would they go out of their way to try and get rid of this tariff or try and make it easier or cheaper for people to get gun safes? Unless, I don't know, maybe the company who bought out Liberty Safes, right? They were giving money potentially, you know, you know, just these are just theoreticals for right this second. And maybe these individuals on this task force were maybe given a little money uh, to be like a heads up on, hey, I don't need this done. I, I need to sell more safes. Anyone else see here? Well, <laughs> that's exactly what Brayden and I thought. So what we did is a little research and remember the names that we had up. So we pulled up that list. I, I sent that over to him. I was like, hey, remember this list? And then we put up the list from some of the individuals that are part of this gun violence prevention task force. And what do you know? We found a few names that actually seem to match. Now we're talking Warnock. We're talking David, God, I cannot ever pronounce his name. Sicily, David Sicily, Sicily, something like that. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Haley Stevens, Angie Craig, Susan Wild. We're talking five. Just five that we did in like a three second research. We found five names that coincide with the list of names we had from Liberty Safe Mother Company that bought them out that donated funds to these certain individuals. So maybe it's a coincidence, maybe it's not a coincidence, but I wanna let you know that Braden and I did a little research and the Liberty Safe Company and this Gun Violence Prevention Task Force have a lot of names in common. So you do what you will with that information and let me know your thoughts on this because I'm really intrigued by it. I think you will be intrigued by it and I wanna know your thoughts down in the comments. Do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button and have a great day.